Do you ever find with DMing Dungeons and Dragons that you give one of your players a mount to ride around with and you can't think of a description, so it winds up being a donkey, and for some reason, it's super buff? A sturdy, very muscular donkey with a very particular <laughs> saddle. It's like buff, like it's like high quarters are just like massive, like... <laughs> so you've been uh, training as hard as I have. <laughs> How much does your donkey bench? <laughs> He, I'm just saying, like that's that's a very that's a that's a thick. Ass. <laughs> if you very, know what I mean. Very thick. Uh, you nerd ass punk. At least try to sound sophisticated when you threaten someone. Dost thou wish to engage in a duel, my good bitch? Somehow that was worse. Home, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought you liked both right, facts. No, I thought right. you liked both Yeah, I'm sorry. We both choose the same facts. I'm just gonna put my head on out. But yeah, you just jumped in. What do you think that made me leave? Bye, Brennan. Hey, you're gonna. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, Brennan. Hey, good luck. Yeah. All right. Let's get back on track. Oh my God. These are good, right? Can you roll like a save? Hey, Brendan, oh, guys, Brendan, no save? You're Actually, railroading yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Beardsley, no. <laughs> no. Okay. Come on. Oh wait, can, can I? I can I do? Use one of my now, abilities? I, yes, I have things. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. You still have two more of those left. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll roll this in front of the board. Okay. Yeah. Now okay. twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Spiders go away a lot. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Let's get back. To... Let's get back on track. Yeah. So when we started, I don't want to do. Yeah. I don't. I, I, I. You know. There's no point. I don't want to. You gotta wanna... get back in here. Yeah. yeah. Have a seat though. Yeah, <laughs> and may the grace of Tom be with you as well, Father. Tom, guide my path. Guiding bolt. Yeah, it was a super fun fight. Okay, yeah, see you next week. It'll be, like, so fun. Like, I'm so excited. Thank you, guys. Like, ah! Uh, hey, 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 Cassie. Uh, one sec. Come here. Oh, yeah, what's up? Yeah, so you know that your god's, like, not actually with you, right? Like, when you're casting magic and stuff, like, they're not actually there with you. You know? You just, like, you just worship them. They're not there. I mean, yes, technically. I know that, but my character doesn't know that. Right, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just telling you that your god's like not there with you, like all the time. You know. I know. She doesn't. If you paid attention to anything she said in these however many fucking sessions, you would understand that. Okay. Okay. Is it a spell or a magical effect? Magical effect, not a spell. Ooh, not a spell. And you have a, a, a... Oh, wait. Natural 20. Natural 20. No, <laughs> you don't because my holy adventure is what granted that. Oh, what is it? Oh, was good. Okay, no, the so, the, wait, so sorry. No, no, this is natural 20s in a row. If we roll two more, we win. Yes, if you roll two more nat 20s, we do avert the Four calamity. Four natural 20s in a row, we win. What'd you roll? It wasn't, it wasn't. A uh, 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 10, so six, six, 16. Six, I'm sorry. Now we know whose fault this shit is. Okay? <laughs> Way to go, Pesha. Uh, okay. One and two. One of you is going to die. One of you is going to live. And the thing is, it's your choice. Because my last sin is that I hate you. I hate you for waking me up every day to watch me fail over and over again and to watch me fall and to get me back up the next day to do it again. I hate that the only time that I got a real life was when you got fed up with my shit and kicked me out of my home. And so I know what lies before me. Another failure, another disappointment. But I tell you this now, because when I fail this time, I 
don't want to do it anymore as the weapon you sharpened. I want to do it as Gillian Tide Strider. Not just the person you made me, but the person I have become. So fail me one last time. I'm sorry. When asked why Wizards of the Coast reversed their decision on the OGL and in turning 5.1 into Creative Commons, Wizards of the Coast CEO was quoted as saying, I goofed up. I didn't even know there was other D&D type games out there. I don't even play d and I didn't know. I didn't know. These nerds, I didn't know these nerds like rules. I messed up. I lost a lot of money. I lost like a lot of money. Oh, I messed up. I'm gonna try to do it again. For those of you who don't know, Worlds Beyond Numbers, a new podcast project brought to us by Brendan Lee Mulligan, Abria Iyengar, Eric Ishii, and Lou Wilson of Dimension 20. These are some of the biggest heavy hitters in the industry today, and they just launched their project on Patreon yesterday. And with them accruing almost 8,000 backers in the first day, and are now sitting at around 11,000 backers, this of course shatters the record of backers that Patreon has for an actual play podcast. Podcast itself isn't tied to any specific game system, promising a variety of different projects, styles of stories, and game systems. Make sure to check it on Spotify, this is going to be amazing. Friendship bracelet for you. Ah, uh, you know, I'm not really a jewelry person. You don't have to wear it. No, I'm going to wear it forever, back off. You're up. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> a, bunch of, a bunch of cowards. You're just watching a little girl. A bunch of cowards and the bravest little girl in the world. <laughs> It like makes that. me want to eat like really bad Doritos because they don't even have the good Doritos yet. They're different. <laughs> so they don't have as much That's salt and spice. Savage. It smells. It's yeah. us. They don't have the good Doritos <laughs> yet. <laughs> what are they? Gonna They've been working. What year? They, they, don't have, have, they have old Doritos. They're the very plain. In America, they're like flavor blasted because we're freaks. <laughs> and over there, they're very tame Doritos and they're called the cool American yeah. because ranch dressing to them is American sauce. The the, oh, yeah, we don't have ranch dressing. Yeah, the European anyway. Union doesn't let you flavor be flavor blast. There yeah. are definitely flavors. I bet flavors. their FDA like, is, no like, Mountain smart. Dew in Europe. Yeah. Because would... that green color is definitely... <laughs> position do you feel most excited to take in terms of power gamers uh, uh, helpful or menace? Power gamers are mighty. Menacingly mighty if we have the right intimidation check, which we do. <laughs> so you're coming out pro-optimization. Yes, I have to defend my people. Wow. Well, let me, let me tell you something. I believe we all remember uh, the classic story, uh, the classic stories of myth and fantasy and legend. We remember Lord of the Rings, Frodo Baggins, a 10 foot tall, 20 strength Hulk barbarian, unkill, or wait, no, that's not what happened. He was a fun little guy with hairy feet who liked to have a bunch of meals in the day. Fantasy thrives on underdogs. And if you are constantly making unkillable contraptions of rules bending edge case demigods, you will never get the feeling of being the little guy triumphing over the forces of evil. Oh yes, yes, demigods. That's why Hercules was just tens in all attributes across the board. That's why there was flavor, there was something notable. I'm sorry, have you never met a specialized person <laughs> in your life? Have you never met that person who wanted to be a doctor from a very young age who studied, who really went hard, who min-maxed? Does that not reflect life? Okay, fine. Are we doing this? Cool.
You're fine, walk it off. Kings have honor, soldiers have bravery, and poets have heart. But all I have is Before you leave, you need to make sure that you try Waffle House. Yeah, I've heard of that place. Do they like do they like have like top tier waffles? No. High quality food? No. Is it like a good family environment? No. Do they keep the restaurant clean? No. Are they known for having the best of literally anything? No. Will I feel safe there? No. Gerard, did you promise not to be mad at me? Um <laughs> Well, I well, suppose it depends. Is. Gerard, promise not to be mad. Gerard, do you promise? I refuse. What are you to going mad. to do? I might get mad. I'm mad now. Stop it. I'm already mad. Gerard. Gerard, Gerard you Why are you going? I don't know what she's doing to you. Will you, 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 you roll go for promise or not? <laughs> <laughs> One through ten. What if I'm just irritated? Gerard, you are still making a first impression. Fine. <laughs> okay, I won't be mad no matter what happens. Wow, Insane promise. That's Go crazy. ahead. <laughs> what are you going to do? Do you know Princess Elodie? That's a great question. <laughs> Gerard. Yes. You promised not to get mad. I promised not to get mad at that specific <laughs> thing. No, Gerard, we all heard you. Right. Right. I promised you would you, never I, get mad. I agree to you never get mad ever again. again? Yes. yes. That's infuriating. That was legally well, that's binding. That's what you said. Why did you tell him not to get mad when you asked a question about the Princess Elodie? Don't get mad at me. Promise not to get mad. <laughs> promise not to get <laughs> mad about this specific <laughs> thing. Go. You say it. Or I'm going to say it. You say it at this point. He's her husband. She's married? Hey. Well, God, that was like the worst thing you could have said. That's, yeah, oh, that's pretty, have. That's pretty yeah, terrible. That's yeah. For being, yeah. for being an ice queen, you were very emotive in that you. moment. I would oh. think you'd play it a little cooler, Snow White. Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's be civil about this. Let's make a deal. You surrender and you don't die. How does that sound? <laughs> and how do you intend to kill us? Oh, no, I can't kill you. But my buddy can. Say hi, buddy! At the end of my days when I'm through No word that I've written will ring quite as true as burn. burn! So how much gold did we get? You got 200, and you got 250. Why did he roll the dice? I, I, I don't know. She did it again! Is there an ambush coming? Perception check. Uh... 18! Do I see anything? It's already at the party! Is our adopted goblin gonna betray us? Well, he better have, because I just snapped his neck! Oh, good. It was the goblin. <laughs> Where'd everyone go? What's rule number one? Party? No, not party. No, it's not party. Oh, well, shit, hero. Oh, you have impressed me. And in return, I'd like to pay you a compliment, if I may. I appreciate your boldness and your honor. And I sincerely hope that they put that on your tombstone. Fucking bitch, we keep going. No, no, no. Mama raised the business girl. Mama didn't raise nobody, actually. My mom was absent. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, So that's why I was saying be careful because if your kids get into D&D, &D, it can lead to all sorts of bad influences. There's so many other activities for them that are healthy and safe, like football and sports. I have to like bring you down to earth for a sec. There is no way you're getting tickets for that show, but I love your enthusiasm. Okay.
Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And um, the last video will not be about D&D. &D. It will be a funny video from Game Changer. So, hope you enjoy. And I'll see you all next time. Later. If you think it's a red flag for you personally, please raise your red paddle. Has a messy car. And I will say this is the understatement of all yes. understatements. <laughs> Grant has a landfill that happens to be surrounded yes. by a Nissan Sentra. <laughs> I see one, two, three, four, five. That red flags. is a royal flush. Yeah.